Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Malin Havefjell, and in this video, I will try a new thing. I will speak in English, but my pictures will be in Swedish. So I hope this will be good for a lot of you, or maybe not. Please leave a comment below if you think this was good or not. I will answer one question here that I get, and I know that the answer is really easy to find. No, it's not easy to find. It's easy to read at the tax agency's website, but it's not so easy to find the answer I have realized. So the question is, okay, how do I calculate VAT on my invoices when I invoice my customers my own travel expenses? For example, I have bought a train ticket. I have stayed at a hotel while, while I am at a client working for them. And we have the deal, but they will pay for my travel expenses. So how do I calculate the VAT on that one? Because there are different VAT rates on train ticket and on the hotel stay and probably on the service that you are selling. How do I do this? Well, I just want to start by showing you where you can find the example the tax agency have, have on their website. And then I will try to explain a little bit more. So we start by going to Skatteverkets website, www.skatteverket.se, and then we go to the menu Företag, that's uh, company. And then we go to Moms, it's VAT. And then we go to Sälja varor och tjänster, and that is I'm selling uh, goods and uh, services. And then I click on Momsatser och undantag från Moms, that's like VAT rates and exceptions for the VAT. And now, I need to scroll down on this site and find the information about train, buses, flights and taxis within Sweden. And here we will see that it is an exception for the main rule, that's 25%. So the VAT rate for travel, for selling bus tickets and train tickets and things like that is 6%. But if you are selling your service and that includes or they should pay for your uh, travel expenses, then you will not charge this exception, that lower tax rate. Uh, so here we see actually an example, and it is in Swedish, but I will try to translate it. It says, Janne jobbar som konsult, like Janne, that is our example person, he's working as a consultant. And for these consultant missions, uh, assignments that he gets, he, the client will pay for his travels. And on the consultant service that he sell, it is 25% VAT. And when Janne is invoicing his client for these services, and the invoice will include his travel expenses, then he will take out, he will calculate 25% on the invoice because that is the main thing he is selling. So this is what you can find on Skatteverk's website. So the rule is when you are selling when you're invoicing your clients and they you have agreed on they will pay your travel expenses, you will not charge the same VAT rate as it was on the ticket that you bought. You will charge the VAT rate that is for the main service, the main goods, the, the, the thing that you are selling. And in the most cases, it will be 25%. Uh, we dig, dig a little deeper into this. So when you are invoicing for your travel expenses, think of it that is like separated main events, uh, business events. So you are buying the, the travel like the ticket and uh, uh, the hotel stay, for example. And then you are away, you perform the service. And when you perform the service, make sure you write a travel journal so you can get some more deductions. And then you invoice your client. And on the total, you will calculate 25%, I guess, because probably that is the VAT rate on the service you are selling. So look at this a little bit more. So you're buying the ticket. So you're buying train ticket and on the train ticket you see that it's 
6% VAT for this ticket. In your bookkeeping, you will book the ingoing VAT as it says on this receipt. So 39.62 uh, kroner will be the ingoing VAT for you. And the same goes with the hotel stay, the invoice from the hotel. Here we can see that the VAT is 12%. And on in, when you post this in your bookkeeping, you will post an ingoing VAT with the 12% VAT. That was 267.86. Uh, so this will be what you are uh, posting in your bookkeeping. And then you go perform the service and you write this travel journal so you can get a tractamente. And the tractamente is uh, when you are away from home, you are allowed to get a tax-free deduction for being away from home. And there are some uh, different rules for to be able to get that. If you are running a limited company, this is called tractamente. But if you are running a sole trader, this is called ökade levnadskostnader instead. And in my example, you have a sole trader, so you will book it as ökade levnadskostnader instead of like you do when you run a limited company. So make sure you write a travel journal also when you are away, so you get this deduction. And now it's time to invoice your client. So you write in a specification what you have sold and the travel uh, costs you also add here because you have come came up with a deal with your client that they will pay for these travels. But the total, the VAT will be calculated on the total. And in this case, it's 25%. So regardless how much you actually paid and paid uh, in the VAT, you calculate 25%. And in the bookkeeping, you will, uh, you will of course, then um, post this outgoing VAT as it is on the invoice with 25% for the total. So separate this in your head when you think about it. It's separated business events and there will be separated vouchers or verifications. I hope this was good and that you understood this. and. If you are unsure, you can contact me and book a meeting. And you do that by going to my website, www.havefjall.se. And uh, please leave a comment below here if you have any further questions. And uh, if you have anything else that you want me to dig a little deeper into on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.